dispensing things here. Counseling table there. Tim Cheney found this camper on an online message board. He bought it, is fixing it up, and plans to deploy it here to the streets of Sanford. It will be outfitted with clean needles and naloxone all, and offer disease right, testing and treatment options, and all in an effort to help this. people struggling with addiction. We want to keep them alive until they are able to make the decision to come into recovery. In today's society, it's very hard for kids. Cheney tells us he was a heroin addict by the time he was 15. He's been in recovery for almost 36 years now. A successful businessman, he is a co-founder of the Choopers Foundation, a not-for-profit helping people living with substance use disorders. I've seen a lot of people die over the years, a lot of people. Cheney is also involved with Grace Street Recovery Services. He says that connection will also help the people who step into this camper. So if we meet them in a compassionate fashion, and one day they come in and they're just sick and tired of being sick and tired, they know that they can come into treatment immediately. Reaction in Sanford today was mixed. I think it's a great idea. I mean, being a local business owner, um, you see the people around, you see the, the needles laying on the ground. This woman told us she'd like to see a bigger focus on prevention. What are we doing at the beginning of the problem? Many Mainers, including the governor, push back against increasing access to naloxone. What does Cheney say to those people? Uh, I would say, what would you say if it was your child? Uh, I would say that this is a health issue. It is not a criminal issue. It is not a moral issue. That anybody can become addicted. So who's going to pay for this? Well, this program will run on philanthropy and volunteers. Cheney is putting his own money into this project. The camper should hit the road in a few weeks and will branch out to other parts of York County, starting in Sanford and going elsewhere. Cheney says think of it kind of like a bus schedule. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.